We were all summoned down the street to the Coachman's Inn. Nobody, to my knowledge, had any idea what it was about. Warren Stevens, 29 years old today, will be the new CEO of Stevens Inc. There we were on his 29th birthday, February 18th, 1986, and I was pregnant with our first child, Miles. Jack knew that the company had to change. Warren was the embodiment of that change. He was trained for the job, and at 29, Mr. Stevens realized that Warren had, you know, integrity and discipline and, and a competitiveness, a desire to succeed, and he was right. The average CEO's tenure is about seven years. When you look at CEOs that have actually made it 30 years or longer, there's only 11 in the S&P 500. Warren has earned every year of his 30-year tenure. When he took it over, we only had slightly more than 100 employees, and now we have 900-ish. Warren has expanded our business from as far as the eye can see to as far as the world. The business has changed, and uh, this firm has changed along with it, and I think it's done a good job of that. What we've accomplished required patience, and it required a long vision. What we have is unique. It's an ingenious combination. We have a private equity business sitting side by side with an investment banking business. You have this unique merchant bank that you just don't see anymore. Warren has built, refined, and maintained that model over his 30 years. And it's more successful than ever. Warren has really surpassed what Jack even imagined back then. And for Stevens to survive and thrive is a true accomplishment, because it hasn't been an easy business. On 9-11, his actions were extremely reassuring. If we'd have gone home, we'd have, we'd have just, uh, in a small way, let the terrorists win a, uh, another round, and uh, we weren't going to do that. It's not a business decision so much as it's cultural. It's, you know, you're all part of the Stevens family. He always does the right thing. That is, you know, a guiding principle. What's the right thing to do in this situation? Probably notably in 2008, because that crisis was particularly focused on investment houses. And you've got to have a pretty steady hand and a pretty steady control of your emotions to be able to handle that. We didn't let anybody go during that period. We honored every single commitment that we'd made to people. The message Warren gave, you know, to everybody here was, we're going to make it and let's go back to business. That's a classic moment. Warren has done a fabulous job. They still have the same legacy that Jack and Witt created. You do business with them on a handshake. Warren's just a, he's a great human being, and he's one of the really special people in the world. It's been a blessing for all of us that have gotten to work for a family company that has great leadership and whose goal is to pass it on to the next generation. My grandfather taught my father growing up that work has dignity, and that is something that both my parents have passed on to my brothers and me. I just don't think Dad could have done, you know, much of a better job. I think Granddad and Whit would be very, very proud. He's had a vision that he's been working on for, for many years, and he's done a great job. I'm really proud of him. I don't think anyone else could have led the firm like he has for 30 years. No one. We're on a mission to build this company into something really great. When you work side by side with Warren every day, you contribute to that mission. Warren, happy 30th anniversary as president and CEO of Stevens. You've done a great job. You've put us all in a position to succeed here. And I want you to know how appreciative I am for all that. I appreciate your leadership of the company. Thank you for the opportunity to contribute. So incredibly proud of you and all of your accomplishments. The firm has never been in a better spot. It's gonna be a lot of fun going forward. I know I speak on behalf of so many people that I can say thank you for being such a tremendous leader. I think if Jack Stevens could come back, he would smile. You could look in his eyes and know what he was thinking, that, wow, this turned out better than I'd even hoped.